Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, hey, what's up, guys? So, I, I've, uh, I've talked to you before about Casey Neistat, and, you know, great guy. Well, great vlogger. Don't know him personally, great vlogger. And there's one thing about him that is, I am absolutely jealous of, and it's his, it's his workshop. It's the workshop that, that appears in a lot of his videos. He has one of the most seemingly organized, yet still comfortable and aesthetically pleasing workshops I've ever seen. So I wanna, I wanna get to that point. And here's a, here's a link, go check out this portion of the video and take a look, take a look at how he, he organizes, uh, he's got lots of the same colored boxes for organization, he's got pegboards with, with drawn out drawn out things which we use in aerospace it, it, they do they call them like fod um, fod trays or, or whatever and every little tool has its own little physical slot that it fits in and if at the end of the day there's a tool missing from a slot you know that you've potentially got foreign object degree and you got to go hunt it out so today and hopefully for some time for the rest of the week, I'm going to devote to getting my getting the clutter out of my workshop area of the garage, getting all that done, and then let's brainstorm you and I with how I could better organize my tools and whatnot. Because one thing I have that Casey doesn't seem to have is a lot more power tools, and those don't fit on like walls or in nice little cubbies and stuff like that. So I've got to figure out a better way to do everything. And I and I think one of the things I need to do after getting everything organized and put away is a, a workbench. Get a real nice workbench going and I, and I don't really know what to do I think I should build one but if there's a, a an option available that isn't much more expensive than than doing it yourself I might just go with that to save time so again all this stuff flying out to you guys help me help me right help me help me so that I can make better videos and ultimately I'll get my office in the house going and that's for the electronics the ham radio all that stuff so right now we just need to worry about the, the workshop in the garage so let's let's start there goal for today is to throw away what I don't need in this pile and then repurpose the space like this whole space is not being utilized correctly neither is this and then down there is power tools and whatnot that I need to clear out make space for and that's what I'm gonna do today that's my goal for today I uh, I'm gonna move in parts through the garage and just clear this place out because it is like <laughs> it's way too crazy we got way too comfortable playing the whole baby game nesting world stuff and now I gotta take my garage back and get serious okay important things like chisels keeping those food uh, storage mylar bags and oxygen absorbers I'm obviously keeping those too, so I'm going to put those over here for now. This is all stuff for filing. This is window molding. I don't need it. Now that we have the uh, tiling stuff in that one paint thing, this is gonna go over there too. Shout out to drain opener, Santine. Don't touch this stuff, ever. With your bare hands, of course. Paint sprayer, love this thing. This guy, I don't know what they call this, the Mad Max? I call it the, uh, the universal key. You can get, this thing's really good for tearing out uh, studs, center posts, and pulling down drywall. Really good for that. This might be too big though. Never mind, fits perfectly. Okay, let's go with that for now. I just had the lid here. Okay, miscellaneous tools. What do we have in here? Impact driver. Electrical. Chisel. It's like random chisel. It's not even like my normal woodworking chisel. And paint sprayer.
I guess this is too big. This is my this is my tackle bag, yeah, guys. So this leaves me this whole bottom area where I can put crap. So what do I want to put down here? So I realized I have like two different brewery buckets here, or brewing buckets here. Uh, these are both kind of like multi-use. They've got holes tapped in the bottom for a spout for pouring. That kind of sucks. Um, I wish they didn't have that, but it doesn't matter. You can still brew with it. You can see how the lid has a hole there for the uh, airlock. All right, I, I forgot I have those. So that's cool, I can use that. But I figured out what I want to do with this big old bucket, or this big tub. I have been looking for a place to store my my excess uh, shotgun equipment for a really long time. Two buckets of shot. Once you put that down, that thing's not going anywhere. One case of Remington STS gun clubs. These are my favorite, absolute favorite target rounds for really playing the game. When you're going to win, use those. This entire box is full of reloaded shells. Oh my god. Ah. See? Oh boy. Well, best of intentions. This might not work after all. Okay, so this is a bag I usually take with me for supplies when you reload. These are all empty holes. Okay, this is the stuff I forgot I had. <laughs> Wadding, wads, and powder, and tons of primers. So, in my, <laughs> in my cleaning, I stumbled across money. And this is all from my piggy bank when I was a kid. I never went through it. So I'm going to go through some of this right now because I'd like to turn some of this into some socket organizers because I've got a problem with my socket set and my uh, toolbox that I want to take care of. So let me sort through all that. So I just went through all those halves. Those are a whole thing of Eisenhower's right there. And then I've got this whole thing of dimes. So I'm going to go take this inside really quick and sort through them. Odds are not very good that any of these are going to be anything, but we shall see. Well, haha, Canadian. Hang on to that. You can tell right away. This is the this is the way to do this. There's no there's no silver. There's no silver lines on any of these. Silver coins do not have any clad. There's no brown on the on the line. So if you see something that's totally silver, it's silver. Oh yeah, nothing. No silver. Let's take a little break from, from cleaning and organizing. Go cash in some of this sweet, sweet coinage. Turns out that there was no silver. I, I didn't I didn't find any silver. Which, um, yeah, bums me out because, well, no, I was born 82, so there's no reason why people would have given me silver coinage. They would have just put whatever in my piggy bank. Because occasionally, you know, aunts and uncles would come by and they'd put money in the piggy bank in my room when I was like a little, little, little kid. That's all just the non-special stuff. There was stuff that was like specially wrapped, little notes and stuff like that. I haven't gone through any of that yet. Should be nice, one day maybe. Oh, I'm gonna make it, 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 I made it. Yeehaw!
Which, what do you think, guys? Which one would I choose? What do you think? Of course. Well, it was a nice little payday there, 120 something bucks. Uh, don't know what I want to spend that on. I've got a lot of stuff on my Amazon list that I've been building up. Um, I should be able to get a socket organizer. God, get out of my way. Well, that didn't take long. But he's not asleep for the night. This is too early for him to go to sleep. Is this French Toast Crunch? Yeah. Look at these. I used to remember eating these when I was a kid. These things are like way better than they used to be. These things are like really good. I'm gonna eat all these right now. Uh, 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 these. Uh, uh, these. Pull it. Pull it. Okay, let go. Put him down. Hey, what's up guys? Wanted to give a shout out to Impoverished Gearheads. They're the guys that I hung out with on the weekend. Those two guys in front of me with their uh, four-wheel drives. That's them, <laughs> Jason and Nacho. They run a channel just getting started, but they're long-time uh, wrenches on their car. They've been doing it for, I don't know, so probably, I mean, they'll give you more information, go check it out on their channel, but they've been doing it forever. So, good information there, and they do kind of budget work on their cars, keeping them going, getting the power going, all that good stuff. So, pretty cool. I expect to see a lot more good stuff coming from them. So, check them out. Dad. Question of the day. Want you want meatballs? Yeah. Cloudy with a chance of meatballs? Yeah. Okay, hold on. Okay, so question of the day. Do you check your coinage? Do you do you look at it to make sure you don't have silver? Do you know what certain error prints are? Do you know... So it usually goes in steps, right? People figure out what the silver is, and they start looking for silver, and then they start, well, maybe there's errors I could be looking for, because some of them are very tiny, but they're worth thousands of dollars. Do you look for those? Um, second question. What should I... Give me that. Give me that phone. That's my phone. What should I spend my $120 on? I don't know. What should I spend it on? Let me know in the comments. And uh, that's it. See you tomorrow.